Hey guys. Uh, it seems like it's been a while since I've done an actual comic book video. Probably hasn't. Probably did one last week. I just can't remember. Got a really bad memory. Um, so, I honestly don't think I've shown anything that I've picked up this month. Um, ooh, there's Big John. Uh, reason for that being I didn't pick any comics up till uh, Friday uh, last week. Um, reason being, uh, just didn't get out. Uh, my writing is coming first at the moment, and I'm going to go into the comic book store uh, when I have time. Uh, so, if you're expecting this to be a uh, going to show you like 50 books like some people get in a month it's not my month is literally like what some people do in a week even less so let's get started i've got a few new issues and then a couple of back issues um i'm going to be doing a video hopefully this week it might be next week of uh some issues I've picked up for my Fantastic Four Volume 1 run. Uh, it's quite cool. I have two issues, uh, low numbers. Uh, well, I just ran away with half my bin there, the dog. Um, for my run, I mean, my run's starting at uh, 150, and I'm hoping to get to like 400, so it's 150 to 400 basically. Um, so it's low numbers in that run, which aren't really key books or anything, but it's cool for me to set a goal and manage to find some. So anyway, here we go. First up, uh, I want to, oh, Jesus, where will I hold it? I want to Captain America 3. With everything that's going on at Marvel at the moment, the Secret Wars and everything going to get reset, I'm guessing this book isn't going to be a long running series, um, which is a shame because I've actually been quite enjoying it. Uh, the first issue was a bit of a mess for me, but the second one and this one were really strong. Um, I think the Falcon and his cats being quite a good idea actually. I know there's a lot of people who don't like the idea or aren't fans of it, but I like it. I think it's a good idea. I think it's a good comic. Um, it's good art, good writing, cool cover. It's always good when there's a someone getting punched in the face on the cover of a comic. So that's that one. The big ad in the back for Star Wars issue one, which is probably in every one of these books. Let's have a wink. Everyone's got Darth Vader issue one, that's quite funny. Um Next one, Spirit Iron Man. Is that number four on it? Yep, number four. Really liking this series. Uh hope they stick with this is this Iron Man, they don't revert back to the Iron Man it was before it. I prefer him being a bit of a scumbag. Um, I'm really liking the Daredevil appearances in the book as well. Let's put a Spider Gwen ad on it. Anyway, if you're not picking that series up, I'd highly recommend it. Hopefully, it's not going to die with Secret Wars, which is what, May, something like that. Um, won't be very many issues in by then. Well, it could be about 15 in by then. They, they doubled up the first monthly issues. Haven't really done that since. So. Uh, next one. Shield. Love the cover. I love Miss Marvel character. I think that's as I've said numerous times, the best character Marvel's come up with in the last decade. Um, I'm liking the comic. 
uh, I, I like the show, and I think if you like the show, you'll probably love the comic. Uh, my only issue with it is the art. The, you know, literally from panel to panel, you can't tell who the hell the people are supposed to be. Like, Coulson's face changes quite a lot. Um, let me see if I can find a, the, the particular page that I noticed it on quite badly, if I can find it. It's very interesting, me looking for a comic at the moment to make the video. Get high reviews. Well, there's an example there, it's not the best. You have Coulson in this little picture here, looking quite youngish, and then here he looks like someone's grandpa. So you can't really see the lines on the face there very well. It's like, you know, pick an age and go with it. I think for a comic like this it would help if you tried to make it look a bit more like the actors. Which is, I think, you, you know, I've, I've heard people say that's the one thing they were thinking about with the Star Wars issue one. Um, there was a lot of people that had said um, they were going a bit too crazy with trying to get them to look like Mark Hamill and that. But um, you don't really have to. You just have a vague, and people know who it is. But with that, everyone's wearing the same outfits. Um, so it's hard to tell folk apart. Like honestly, if it wasn't for uh, just to stick it up at the front, no, hands like that. Can't turn the pages for some reason. Like if it wasn't for this, telling you who people were. Who's in it, even? Like, I wouldn't have known, like, at any point in the comic that that was Simmons, except for when it, her, it's, they say her name to her, basically. You know, it's easy with, like, Miss Marvel. Like, it's, uh, the outfit helps, the elongated arms and legs help, you know. It's just a little thing that annoys me a little bit, but I do like it. I think it's. You know, they've got a lot of stuff they can do with it that they can't do on the show, so it's it's a good idea. Yeah, it brings you to Fade Out 4 as well. I'm guessing quite a lot of people will be reading this one. Um, the art in this is light years ahead of the art in S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, to be fair, the writing is as well. Fade Out is a very consistent um, series. I'm liking the bringing in all like the famous old actors and that. It's quite cool. Um, just think of that there. It's another good series. I've read that in trade. I'd really like to start trying to pick that up in single issues, but it's a bit pricey at the moment. So. If you're not reading that, that's one I would highly recommend. Pick them out before issue one becomes astronomical in price. Uh, I've already seen people for the magazine um, variant, people ch trying to get 50 quid on eBay. So it's that. 50 quid for 70 dollars, something like that. It's crazy money. Uh, so. I have three back issues. I'm not sure I'm keeping uh, any or all of these, but I have Avengers Assemble 23 and is that an and an inch? For what is this? Does anyone know what this means? It's I don't get the numbering on Marvel books at all at times. Uh, like the art. I haven't read this yet, so I can't really comment if the story's any good. The art's pretty cool. You know, we got Wolverine on the cover. We've got Spider Woman, Spider Girl. Looks, 
It's all right. I'll give you that one straight. It might go in the shop. Um, I don't think I have any others from that series in my collection at the moment. I do have some of these uh, Uncanny Avengers. Um, not enough to say that I'm following the run or whatever, but people say this is a really good series, other people say it's not, but there's a lot of people that say this is a good series, so um, I might pick up some other issues of it. Uh, I've not read this run yet, it was on my to read list, I uh, just noticed Captain Britain making an appearance, which is always good with me, one of my favourite characters. Um, Brook Remender, one of my favourite writers, so that, that one will probably stay. I might actually try and pick up that series. And I don't pick, I haven't got any of this series at all. I, I don't know why, um, I was always a fan of this as a kid, but, you know, since I got back into comics I've not bought really anything to do with them. I didn't buy the Death of series, anything. Um, I'm not picking up any of the books at the moment. So it's Wolverine number two. Again, I'll give it a flick through. The art is awesome, isn't it? Look at that, the front. The eyes. The art is awesome. Spider-Man's in it, which is always good for a Marvel book. Uh, Wolverine's drawn like Wolverine, which is always good. I hate when they draw him and he looks a bit like Hugh Jackman. Uh, don't know. That's probably going to go in the store. So that'll get bagged and boarded. And probably list it on my store. If anyone's got an idea what I should list it for, that'd be a good uh, idea. I should put it in the comments. Um, so that's comics done. It's only taken 12 minutes, which is awesome. Um, I think that's it. So yeah, um, I've got behind on my um, I've got behind on my videos as lately with my writing. Um, Got behind on my commenting as well on YouTube, which is a bit embarrassing. Um, the I'm about as an update. I'm about a hundred and I think it's twenty-seven pages in to my novel. Um, so a good chunk of the way through. <coughs> Probably not where I would have wanted to have been, but. If I had uh, health issues in the last couple of weeks, it's quite hard to type at the moment as well. My hand's a bit knackered. Um, let's sit here. Is it just me? Or does this dog bear a resemblance to the black suit of Spider-Man? <laughs> See this bit here? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Is that a bad place for shit for? Fuck. So anyway, uh, I'll be doing that Fantastic Four one when I get all the issues in. Uh, I won. It was three... Uh, bits I was bidding on. One was for I think four and the other two were for one each so when they come in I also got a comic I've always wanted to read, well I've wanted to read for a while, I say always, I don't remember when it was done but I remember when it came out I fancied reading it because it was a crossover between DC and Marvel um, so I'll be showing that off so hopefully that'll be this week Depends what postage is like. Uh, so it could be Friday uh, or next week. And I am going to do one 
to do in my normal uh, probably Wednesday maybe tomorrow uh, I'll do a catch up where I am how things have changed in it uh, quite a bit's changed in it so anyone that's interested in that uh, uh, you can have a watch it if you're not you'll see you in the next comic one um, I think I'm also going to start a writer support group type thing on Facebook so if you're interested in that if you give me a uh, shout out private messenger in the comments and I'll give you the details when it gets set up and I'll see you in the next one bye